the reverse voltage applied across it becomes too high. The Zener diode is basically same as the standard PN junction. They are specifically designed to have a low and specified reverse breakdown voltage which takes the advantage of any reverse voltage applied to it. When biased in the forward direction, it behaves just like a normal diode passing the current. However, unlike a conventional diode that blocks any flow of current through itself when reverse biased, the Zener diode begins to conduct in the reverse direction too as soon as the reverse voltage reaches a predetermined value. Because when the reverse voltage applied across the Zener diode exceeds the rated voltage of the device, a process called avalanche breakdown occurs in the semiconductor depletion layer and the current starts to flow through the diode. The current now flowing through the Zener diode increases dramatically to the maximum circuit value and once achieved, this reverse saturation current remains fairly constant over a wide range of reverse voltages. The voltage point at which the voltage across the Zener diode becomes stable is called as Zener voltage and for Zener diodes, this voltage can range from less than 1 volt to a few hundred volts. The point at which Zener voltage triggers the current to flow through the diode can be very accurately controlled in the doping stage of the diodes. This Zener breakdown voltage on the IV curve is almost a vertical straight line. We can also see various standard Zener voltage curves. From the IV characteristics curve, we can see that the Zener diode has a region in its reverse bias characteristics of almost constant negative voltage regardless of the value of the current flowing through the diode. The voltage remains nearly constant even with large changes in the current. This ability to control itself can be used to greater effect to regulate or stabilize a voltage source against supply or load variations. The function of a regulator is to provide a constant output voltage in spite of the ripples in the supply voltage or the variation in the load current. This is all about Zener diode and its characteristics. To sum up, we learnt about how Zener diode works in reverse bias. Then we saw the voltage remains constant in reverse bias mode. At last, we learnt how it can be used as voltage regulator. In the next video, we look at rectifiers and learn about their applications. See you there.